Hi everyone. Today again uh, we are going to meet Dr. Neema Bhatt, hematologist and pediatric oncologist. Today we will get some more information about what is hematology, what are different kinds of hematology diseases and we will talk about uh, pediatric oncology or pediatric cancer. Hello doctor, welcome to the another session. Thank you. Uh, can you today explain about what is hematology? Hematology is a science that deal with, deals with all blood disorders. So when we talk about blood disorders, uh, we mean blood cancer. Cancers, uh, mainly three types, leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma. Uh, we talk about low counts, so, so anemia, which is low hemoglobin, low WBC count or high WBC count, low platelet or high platelet count. So any disturbances in the counts uh, that make up the blood. Um, also pertains to blood clotting disorders. So the blood has a mechanism by which we make sure that the blood doesn't clot too much, nor is it too thin and runny so we don't bleed too much. So um, some people have what we call bleeding disorders or bleeding tendency where the risk of bleeding is very high because that system is not working okay. Some people have what we call a clotting tendency where their blood clots very easily, again because of certain disturbances. So they can end up having clots in the legs, arms, sometimes in the lungs, sometimes in the heart and even stroke which happens in the brain. So uh, this also comes under a hematologist review. Uh, apart from this, we look at functions of the bone marrow. So bone marrow is the factory where blood cells are produced and uh, any disturbances in the bone marrow, we call it MDS which is myelodysplastic syndrome, we call it aplastic anemia where the machinery of bone marrow almost fails um, and uh, the production of uh, blood cells is compromised. We also deal with lymph nodes. So lymphoma, which is a type of blood cancer, is actually pertaining to lymph nodes, which are uh, like forts that are present in different parts of our body that prevent infection from going to that particular part to the blood. So those are called lymph nodes. When there's a cancer that attacks the lymph nodes, it is called lymphoma. So as hematologists, we also deal with diagnosis and treatment of uh, lymphoma that comes under hemato-oncology. Apart from this, we deal with immune system. So our immune system or our resistance power helps us fight off a lot of infections. So if there is disturbances in the immune system, it can be autoimmune disorders where the immune system is hyperactive and it loses the site between what is our own body and what is not our body and starts attacking, you know, even parts of our own body. That is called autoimmune disorders. So autoimmune disorders, diagnosis and some part of management is also done by hematologists. Um, we also deal with uh, conditions that uh, increase, as I said, counts or uh, decrease counts. There is also something called as uh, hemoglobinopathies. So when we talk about low hemoglobin, there are different causes for it. It can be because of nutrition, so iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency. It can also be because of abnormal production of hemoglobin, where uh, we call it hemoglobinopathy, which is thalassemia, your alpha thalassemia, beta thalassemia aplastic anemia. Uh, these are all conditions that are again blood disorder or blood related and these are also taken care of or managed by hematologists. Doctor, what is the difference between uh, blood cancers? I heard about leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma, sometimes I heard multiple myeloma. What are the differences between these different blood cancers? Yes, so as I've discussed in the past, um, blood cancers are mainly of three different types, leukemia, lymphoma and myeloma. Leukemia is uh, mainly a procedure process that starts in the bone marrow where your WBC cells are multiplying without control. Sometimes it is, mo most of often it is WBC cells, but rarely it can also be pertaining to your platelets where the platelets are multiplying uh, you know, excessively without any control. It is called essential thrombocytemia. That is also considered a type of mild leukemia. So these leukemias can be mainly of two varieties, acute leukemia or chronic leukemia. So acute leukemia is where the body is in almost like an emergency state where the WBCs are multiplying very fast. And usually we see that within a few weeks or within one or two months, WBC counts go from normal, which is around 4,000 to 10,000, all the way up to 30, 40, 50,000. And uh, these abnormal cells called leukemia cells or blasts are seen, uh, you know, in the blood circulating when we look at the blood under the microscope. Uh, these acute leukemias also cause your hemoglobin to come down. It causes your platelets to drop. Basically, it takes over the entire bone marrow machinery and doesn't let it do its normal function. If you have to talk about lymphoma, it is a blood cancer that involves lymph nodes, which are the, the forts that prevent infection from going to blood. It's a cancer that involves the lymph nodes. So where do we usually have lymph nodes? We have it in our neck, we have it in our armpits or uh, axilla or underarms. We have it in our chest, we call it mediastinum, and in the abdomen or the pelvic region. So any of these lymph nodes can develop a cancer and uh, then it is called lymphoma.
Myeloma, on the other hand, again starts in the bone marrow and uh, we have these cells called plasma cells which normally make proteins as part of their normal function. But when these plasma cells develop cancer, that is when they produce these proteins in excess and uh, these proteins get deposited in various organs of the body. So it can get deposited in the kidneys. Uh, these plasma cells can become hyperactive and they can start you know, dissolving or eating our bones and cause punched out or lytic lesions in our bones. Blood cells or plasma cells can make our blood very thick and causes to have blood clots. It can sometimes make it very thin and cause you to have bleeding tendencies. It can also uh, cause you to have multiple infections, a lot of fevers, weight loss, fatigue. Uh, it usually comes with low hemoglobin. So depending on which type of blood cancer and diagnosing the right type of blood cancer is extremely important. Why we talk about different types of blood cancer is once we get to the exact type of it, the treatment varies. So leukemia treatment is very different from lymphoma treatment as is very different from myeloma treatment.